Hi. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Vlogtober. I figured I would just answer some Q&A questions today. There's not much going to be going on. I um, went to work, and now I'm home. So that's what's going on. Doyle is in his chair, and I've been at the computer for a little while. Um, I'm just doing some things. But I um, asked for some questions yes, like late last night yesterday, and you guys have sent me a few questions, so I wanted to answer them. So here we go. I got my computer here, which is why this like weird light is here, so yeah. Um, let's see, let's start with Facebook. I'll answer a few questions on each. Um, it says, what type of camera do you use? Also, do you use a microphone with it? Um, I guess they've been trying to find a vlogging camera, but there's a lot of choices. I feel you, girl. Um, okay, so I use a Canon G7X, and I do not use an external microphone. The link is always below. It just says, like, camera that I use, and it's on Amazon. Um, when I purchased my camera, it was about $1,000, maybe, like, more, like, $1,200. I'm not sure. It's gone down considerably in price. I think it's only, like, six or 700 bucks now. Um, it does have, like, a flip-out screen, which I... I really like because then I can see if I'm in frame. Also you can use the flip out screen for just like pictures in general if you want to like you know take more selfies or things like that and it flips back down and you can like take pictures with it too or you can do video. Um, so anyway no I, I don't use any external mic and this is the only camera that I use and I use it for all of my hand videos and all of my like face to face vi her face to face videos with you guys and then also all of my vlogs. So that's what I use. Um, all right, so someone asked if I have any puppy pictures of Doyle, and I'm currently on Facebook, so let me see if I can find some. It has been a very, very long time since I have, like, looked at any puppy pictures of the doodle. Let's take a peek and see what I got. I do have some photos on, like, an external hard drive somewhere, but I don't know. I know I have it. It's just like a matter of where it is. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Here, I will show you. So it's going to be weird. This is the first picture that the breeder ever sent me of the Doyle. Sorry about the glare. Isn't that cute? Just a little stinker. And then this was, this is back before like people had like good cameras, okay? So this was his first day home. It's really, really grainy, unfortunately, but that's what I got, guys. That's what I got. And um, yeah, that's that's like it for the baby, baby pictures. Um, there are other photos that I have. Oh, this was also from the breeder. I'll show you this one too. This was the other one that the breeder had sent me. So yeah, those are baby pictures of Doodle. He was a little guy. All right, so that was kind of a tangent, but that's all right. Okay, so let's go to Instagram and see what y'all are asking on the grams. Ooh, this is a really good question. Um, since being debt-free minus my home, what are your top three splurges? Ooh, okay. So my top three splurges, definitely eating out, like going out to a dinner or grabbing lunch or something like that. I feel like I'm at a point where I'm okay with that. Um, so that is definitely a big thing. And um, top three splurges. Hmm. I guess like, okay, so number two would be the ability to say yes to things. Um, I know that's not like, it's pretty vague, but it's also like, you know, if I want to go to a concert or I want to go to some sort of paid for event that, um, you know, wouldn't normally be in my budget, I'm like allowed, like in my mind, I'm, I mean, clearly I'm an adult, I'm like allowed to do whatever I want, but it makes it a lot easier when, even though I haven't built that into my budget for the month, it doesn't need to be a line item I can just decide hey I really want to do this and I would really enjoy it and I want to go being flexible with that like last minute stuff and able to say yes to things um, is really like kind of helpful helpful in that way um, so yeah like last minute things I don't know is that a thing oh. okay that's gonna be my second one even though that was really vague and weird um, and my third one would probably be travel, um, the ability to travel as well. Um, so like the last minute things I was talking about before, like concerts or like just little things that come up, um, and being able to say yes to them if I want to go. Um, and then, you know, the next one would be definitely traveling. I have some upcoming travel plans for 
2019. Um, I don't really have any travel plans for the rest of the year, like 2018, that I'm aware of at the time of filming this. But um, 2019, I do have some travel plans, so I'm really excited. I have two trips planned and I've already been saving for one of them at least. The other one I can probably cash flow that it wouldn't really cost. It's it's not like a big expenditure kind of a, a trip so um, I could definitely cash flow that trip without a problem um, in my normal monthly budget. So anyway but that's um, kind of fun just to be able to do those things and be able to say yes. I mean, I think that's the whole point of getting out of debt and managing your money wisely and just getting like a little bit more financially sound is like you don't feel guilty saying yes to things. Where a long time ago, I used to feel very guilty about saying yes to things where it was like, ooh, I should have probably like paid more on that bill or like whatever you had going on. Um, you know, because we're all not necessarily doing the right thing all the time. But anyway, but yeah, I... Those are my three things, you know? Someone asks questions about my new tattoo. I got a new tattoo, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if it'll focus. Ooh, ah. It is in such a weird, weird spot. There it is. It's Doyle. Those are his ears. And those are his eyeballs. And yes, it's on my middle finger. And we'll talk about it. Okay, so the Doyle tattoo. Let's chat about it. I got this tattoo because, for okay, so I've never had an animal before. Let's just like start at the very beginning. I've never had an animal before, and um, even growing up, we never had animals. We had a couple of fish that died like the next day, but um, yeah, so I've never had an animal before, and I knew, I really knew that I wanted a Shiba Inu. I had a friend in high school that had a Shiba Inu that looked just like Doyle named Merlin, which I loved Merlin, Merlin was amazing. Um, so I always knew I wanted to get a Shiba Inu. This tattoo kind of came about because I always wanted to get a tattoo of like Doyle in some way, um, just because it signified me kind of like being an adult and I don't know, just like, I don't know. And I like tattoos. I, I actually really like tattoos. I totally understand tattoos are not for everybody and that's okay. Um, but I mean, a lot of tattoos aren't for me either, but I appreciate them because, you know, it's for that person and that's great. But I always knew that I wanted to get the like little, to me, the ears and the eyes. So the ear, eye, eye, ear. And um, I used, like, back before emojis, I used to um, use this to, like, signify Doyle before all the emojis came out, like, in the iPhone and stuff like that. So, anyway, I really wanted to get it somewhere that was more hidden. Um, I have other tattoos, which is another part of the question, um, which I'll address in a minute. But I have other tattoos, and they're all hidden. Like, you wouldn't be able to see them unless I was wearing, like, a swimsuit, basically. So... I didn't know the placement for a really long time of what I really, really wanted. I always knew, hold on, I always knew I wanted it on my left hand side because weird little idiosyncrasy about Doyle is if you're sitting in the middle of the sofa, he won't sit on your left, he'll sit on your right. So he, or sorry, he won't sit on your right, he'll sit on your left. He wants to sit on the left hand side because that's the side he prefers to be pet on. So he wants to sit on your left side. So I figured left side, that's the Doyle hand. Let's do that. I mean, he'll sit on the right side, but he doesn't like it as much. He likes to sit on your left. It's really funny. So the way I decided about this placement is I kind of wanted a finger tattoo, but I didn't want one like on the outside of my fingers. I just didn't really want that. And I was originally thinking like right here. here. I'm going to use this finger because just it's going to be easier. I was kind of considering like right here instead of like this little nook, if you will. I was thinking about here. But then I was like, well, you won't be able to see it. Like if I were to wear a ring, it would look like, I don't know, just the the two little dots and then a triangle. Like I'm not a big jewelry wearer anyways, but I just thought you wouldn't be able to, like I wouldn't be able to see it like more on a daily basis, I guess is kind of like, and it's for me. So clearly when I turn my hands up, so like in my like new plan with me videos, you'll be able to see that. And I'm sorry that it's like not focusing right, but 
you'll see it way more than you want to see it in upcoming um, hand videos. So yeah, so I decided to go on this little center nuck, if you will. I don't know, this is like clearly I'm not a medical professional and this is not a normal term. Um, but it actually took me a while to figure out where I wanted it. I kind of wanted it like on my wrist for a while, but I don't know, I just... It just didn't feel right, so um, I was like, what about a finger tattoo? So I was looking at finger tattoos on Pinterest and Instagram, and I was like, yes, I know exactly what I want to do. So um, I decided to get on my middle finger because that guy can be kind of a jerk sometimes. So I felt like that was only fitting. Plus, if I were to ever get married someday, um, which is clearly not in my like immediate future, I didn't necessarily want to get it on my ring finger. I definitely didn't want to do it on the pinky. And then my right finger, I don't know. I just felt like that was too exposed on this side. And I wanted to get it on this side so I could see it versus the opposite side. So that just made the most sense. Exactly. So um, one of the other parts of the question is how I chose my tattoo parlor. Um, Funny story, I was actually looking for a specific tattoo artist to do this. I called around and they're like, oh yeah, we don't do finger tattoos because they don't, um, like they do touch-ups for free or something like that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. And this is a part of your body that you touch and like exfoliate all the time. So it's just one of those places and it's very like bony as well. Sorry, I should flick you off, but um, like it's just one of those places that doesn't hold the ink well. Um, I already have other tattoos and I was like, it's fine, I don't really mind. So anyways, um, I chose my tattoo parlor based on where my hairstylist gets her tattoos. And funnily enough, her tattoo artist is the guy that has done all of my other three tattoos. And I just thought that was the funniest thing because she's like, oh yeah, because I was telling her that I was looking for a tattoo parlor um, that did like fine line or single needle tattoos and she's like well you should check out this place she's like i didn't do a single needle she has like a um like a shoulder done and um she showed me hers and it's beautiful but um she's like yeah you should check out this guy his name's winfield i'm like shut the front door i'm like winfield did all my other tattoos she's like shut up so um i guess he has his own place now um it is called a tattoo asylum in Spring Lake Park, Minnesota. So if you guys are interested, you could go check them out. It literally took, I didn't even see Winfield there. I saw somebody else, which was fine. It, I didn't need to like see him again, but um, this, it literally took like five minutes. It was like super simple. Um, okay, so what was the other question again? What other tattoos do I have? So I have two Chinese characters and then I also have a barcode. Those are my other tattoos. And like I said before, I'm not going to show them on the, well, I'm not going to show them in the, in, on the internet. I have never wanted to ever show them on the internet. And um, they're also really old, like 20 years old at this point, almost 20 years old at this point. I got them all when I was 18 and 19 and I've never touched them up. So they are not like as vibrant as they used to be, which is fine. Um, but like I said, I got them for me and really you can only see them if I'm like in a swimsuit kind of a situation. So Hmm. Nothing that's ever exposed. I do have this now, um, but I don't know. It's like doesn't affect that. Let's see what other questions y'all are having. Oh, more tattoo questions. Okay, it looks like uh, someone is asking, was it painful on the finger? Um, I didn't think so. I, it didn't... I don't know. Tattoos are painful. I mean, they're putting needles in your body and putting ink in your finger or wherever you're trying to put it. So um, it, it's not pleasant, but it's just, for me, it's more annoying feeling than anything. And I remember getting my other three tattoos and just feeling like the constant rubbing was really irritating. So like they would just do it for a little while and then they rub because they're like, they got the ink and stuff and then they're going and going and going and they want to see where they're at because the ink is kind of like staying on the surface a little bit. So they have to like rub it off, like rub it off. And um, oh, I remember that being so irritating. I'm like, oh, stop the rubbing. But you know, they have to clear the ink off so they can see where they are. So they're not like going in a totally different direction than the tattoo that you had envisioned. But yeah, to me, I don't know. It didn't really hurt that bad. I mean, if I was gonna get like full like something like a bunch of colors and stuff yeah that would probably like kind of hurt a little bit but um you know no it wasn't it wasn't that bad and I think he went over it like twice um 
but yeah, it's kind of, um, it's not totally smooth yet, and it's been about a, a little more than a week now. It's not totally smooth yet, it's still like in that kind of flaky stage, so um, after it like flakes, like it flakes a little bit, because it's like basically like a cut is what it's hap what's happening, so it's a little bit raised up still, but it'll still be like that for just a little while, and um, he just said, you know, if you need it touched up ever, like, just come on in, and I can touch it up for you real quick, and it's, like, no big deal, so. Oh, another question, what prompted the tattoo? You know, to be honest, I've just wanted it for a long, long time. I think I kind of went into that, but um, I never found the right placement, and then once I was like, yes, I like this placement, I, you know, decided to just book the appointment and go for it. I actually um, took a marker, not this one, but, like, was taking markers and like kind of putting them places and I like nothing felt good until I put it on my finger and then of clearly as soon as you wash your hands it's like basically gone but I was like yeah that feels like it felt right so um you know that's something I would maybe recommend to anyone that wants to get a tattoo that would be visible. Well, I mean, it'd be difficult if you're doing a big scale, but if you're doing like a tiny little tattoo, especially on a hand or a wrist or something, you can kind of like, I don't know, drawing on your skin is probably not the best idea, but to kind of like place something there to see if it would maybe like bother you or whatever. I don't know, just to kind of get the placement right. All right, and another question is, Am I going to be doing more bake with me's now that I did some baking with Ryan over at a man with the plans? And the answer is absolutely I'm going to be doing that. So um, those will be coming up, I don't know, soonish, whenever I find a new recipe to do. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of film them as I would film anything, just kind of like when I get the notion to do it. And um, if you guys ever have any recipes, feel free to like send them my way or you can email them to me. My email's down below or you can like send me a link on Facebook. Um, my Facebook is always open so y'all can, um, you know, send me a message there, which is super simple and easy. So um, again, links are below for that. That's gonna end the Q&A. But anyway, um, it is completely pitch black outside. I've got this funny glow. Oh, I should have put that down a long time ago. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, but I am gonna go, this was just kind of a one take situation today, again, kind of like yesterday. I just wanted to do a little Q&A. It's Friday, it's laundry day, but I'm not doing laundry right now because I got home pretty darn late. So I didn't want wet laundry to sit overnight, if you know what I mean, because no thanks. But Doyle and I are gonna go. I still need to make some dinner, which I have not done yet, and it's probably like, it's probably like nine o'clock now. <laughs> So I'm just gonna eat a little something. I'll eat a little something light and then I will start fresh tomorrow with another Vlogtober for you guys. So I hope I answered most of your questions. I didn't want this video to be like 45 minutes long or anything. So I just wanted to answer some key questions and I had just realized that I had not done a Q&A in this whole vlogging series. So here you go. But I am gonna go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. That is really a great tool as to how I get seen by other people and how other people want to subscribe to my channel if they are so inclined and interested. So feel free to share it with your friends on Facebook or whatever social media platform that you wanna use or any other thing you wanna use. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So Doyle's already sleeping. I'm gonna go eat and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.